engineer, please, what's our mission for today? Well, we actually expanding phase three, uh, great city phase three. Okay. Like we have always mentioned, um, we have segregated it into various phases. Okay. Phase one is sold out, phase two is sold out. Okay. And our phase three, we started with a nine acre and we realized that we have to expand it a little bit. Okay. So what we're doing um, this morning is to grade those portions of land. Okay. And as we speak, we have the machines there working already. So this is what usually we do. Okay. We, we take our time, okay. we uh, are able to do proper due diligence, okay. and then we make sure we register the land in our name okay. before we come to site and then we start with our grading. So the first stage today is to clear off, but what we're going to do is that we are not uh, removing trees. Okay. The trees are all going to be there because our homeowners have always told us that and we are also trying to, uh, as it were, protect the vegetation of the place. So we are not going to do that. We also have some time, some of the farmers uh, uh, working over there. We are not touching the uh, farm produce yet. Okay. No. And what we also do as a company is that we have areas that we have earmarked for farming purposes. So okay. where we have we have farmlands that we have given to people for them to be able to farm, for them to be, for us to be able to carefully check what they are doing so that uh, we we are able to be on top of issues so where we are currently working are areas where it will be for uh, habitation for people to be able to build and stay over there so that's what we're doing today okay. primarily uh, so okay. uh, we will soon be there and um, if if the camera can see ahead as phase two just ahead of us with some buildings springing up over there uh, as we speak phase three as well we also have some of the uh, buildings also starting over there and uh, we, we are seeking to do an expansion. So please, what locality is this? So we are at Ebri Abang from and these areas were carefully selected by the company. Reasons being that it's like a three junction. Okay. So we have the Amang from in Setsu Road which leads straight to the Pokwasi interchange. Okay. And then we have towards, if you get to the main road, turning towards your left, it's going to uh, Insawam. Okay. And then towards the right, where we, we came from, that's uh, Pediasi, Ebri Township, leading to Medina. Okay. So this this was a well-calculated area. In fact, going to Koforidi as well, it's very short from here for you to be able to do what you have to do. Now, where we are currently, you can see that what we have here are materials that we had to power here. This is a temporary road that we have actually constructed for us to be able to, to create access uh, onto the, the place itself. Yeah, so what we're doing is um, we started work about two hours ago before you all got in here. So this morning, I'm going to show you what work we have done, okay. what we are expected to do today. And just like I mentioned, um, we always liaise with the local authority. So we aren't destroying any farm produce. We are giving them ample time for them to be able to harvest their crops. In fact, we need we need those things in, in our country. Very necessary. Exactly. So, so, so those are the things that we have put in place. We always are concentrate and then be able to do what we have to do. Okay. So how long is it going to take for you to grade the entire phase? You see, it's, it's, um, it's, it's sometimes not predictive, and I was playing. Sometimes you have what we call the natural disaster itself, where it rains and it stops you from working. Yeah. At other times, there are machines that we're working with, so sometimes the machines, they break down. But what we have done uh, in grading this uh, 30 acre is predominantly to look at within four days, we're supposed to, to complete it without any natural disaster, without any of the machines. This morning like this, one of the machines uh, had an issue, so we had to call another machine, which got here about uh, 20, 30 minutes ago. So usually those are our challenges, and uh, we are able to, to get them. But the machines are supposed to work eight hours, so when we have opportunity and we are able to do so, we do more than the eight hours. So this is exactly the entrance. This is where the security post is going to be onto phase three. So at this point, I think we'll stop here so I can be able to walk you through 
for you to see what is actually happening over here. Thank you very much. So just like I was explaining to you earlier on, um, today we we are giving ourselves the next four days. Um, looking at my left from my left here, that is the old phase three. It's uh, almost sold out. And then my right, my right here, where we have the uh, plantation that you see here, you can see that we didn't even touch any of those things because they are all food crops that we don't want to. Uh, get into into them. So what we'll do is that we'll just go in there and plant our peelers for the demarcations that we are going to do. That we're going to touch them and then uh, we'll wait for them to be able to harvest. So this is the entrance to the place and like we have always been explaining, um, we are looking at the reverse of what happens in homeowners. So ideally or primarily what is going to happen is that this whole place is going to be a gated community. We're going to have 24 hour security and all. I think I'll be explaining more when we get to the issues of uh, demarcation. When we are demarcating, I'll explain more and then we get into the fray. Thank you so much for coming and I'm grateful. Thank you.